Melissa Miranda here and welcome to lesson number four on live life your way how to stay positive when life is going tough now this was a highly suggested video and I am so happy to be here and bring this information to you today in today's lesson we'll be covering what it really means to be positive learn the nine simple tips to staying positive during tough times so I'm looking forward to this now before we begin let's recite our pledge I pledge that from this moment on I will do whatever it takes to be the best version of myself I will be kind to myself I will love myself in every state that I am in I will invest in my personal growth I say yes to myself and completely embody the belief that I am more than good enough to attract all good into my life thank you for reciting the pledge with me now let's get to what I promised you what it really means to stay positive positivity is a state of being it's not a state of acting having a positive attitude comes from within it's a decision one makes which isn't dependent on circumstance or situation perception and attitude play an important role to how we react now I have a question for you are you letting circumstances and situations dictate your emotional state for a long time the answer to this question for myself was yes I was letting situations and circumstances dictate how I should feel and how I should move around in life and what I realized is that that wasn't working for me and if you're watching this video you're probably realizing that for yourself as well and through this discovery what I learned was that this was a learned behavior it's not natural to my state of being it's not something that is ingrained in me that I don't have control over it is something I have control over it's something that I learned a long time ago and that a lot of us have learned a long time ago but I'm here to share with you that it doesn't have to be this way anymore and let me tell you it wasn't an easy journey for myself and I'm not perfect but I feel a lot better now knowing that I have a choice and how I feel instead of letting situations and circumstances dictate what I should feel internally and how I should express myself externally in the world the good news is that because it's a learned behavior we can unlearn it and learn something completely new that supports what it is we really do want to experience on a day-to-day -day basis now I want to be completely honest with you about this this is gonna take a lot of practice and you have to really also be kind to yourself during this process it's not something that you automatically start putting into place and it happens it's a choice every single time and right now I'm giving you the opportunity to see that choice and to recognize that you have the power and I know you could do it because I did and I'm not perfect there are times where situations and circumstances do dictate my feelings but then I own up to that and I could quickly bounce back for, and, and move myself to a place that I really want to be in opposed to being in a space because of something that's happening external now that you know what it takes to be positive let's move on to the second thing I promise you today learn the nine simple tips to staying positive during tough times tip number one is awareness and honesty this is where you are aware of your feelings and emotions and of the circumstances and situations at hand step number two 
It's seeing you have a choice. We all have a choice to feel the way we want to feel. Step number three, make the conscious decision to remain positive no matter what is happening around or within you. Now, I want to be honest with you here. This is where most of us struggle because we have been conditioned to react and only see what is outside of ourselves. Remember, you have a choice. It is your choice to let the circumstance dictate your emotions and your feelings or for you to take control of your own feelings and your own thoughts and remain in a beautiful positive state that you deserve to be in. Step number four is sticking to the facts and removing assumptions and projections to the circumstance or situation at hand. In other words, leave your emotions out of it. The power of perception is really allowing yourself to see all points of views without creating, without attaching to an emotional response or feeling. Tip number five, give yourself and others space to process and do something to distract yourself. This is very important and most of us don't do this because honestly, we think we know better. So we just automatically jump into a response, not allowing ourselves to take all the facts into place and giving yourself time to really see what is actually happening in this situation and circumstance. Tip number six, revisit the facts. In some cases, a solution is needed. If so, remember to stick to the facts and allow yourself to come up with a solution that benefits everyone involved, including yourself. Tip number seven, don't take things so seriously. See the playful side of the circumstance or situation. Don't let yourself get carried away in what is happening outside of you. What's more important is what's happening within you and that you start to really see your own power and see that you are the director of your own movie. And what you feel now creates a ripple effect which then creates more of that opportunity to have that feeling. So it's important for us to stay positive. Tip number eight, forgive. See the lessons and gifts that you have learned through this situation. Tip number nine, move on and leave the past in the past. Now that you have these cool tips on how to stay positive when life is tough, there's also one more thing that's needed. Now, even though these tips are great and they're helpful, there's only so much that they can help you in when you're actually in that place of how do I feel right now? I don't want to feel, you know, any emotions other than being positive. Well, I'm here to tell you that mindset plays a big role in how you perceive the world and how you interact with others, yourself and the environment. And I want to invite you to my next webinar on how to reprogram your mindset and transform your life. I know that you'll enjoy the content. It's a free webinar. I'll have the information below. If you really, really, really want to experience true happiness in your life, and you want to stay positive no matter what because that helps you see staying positive has nothing to do with other people it has to do with you and how you feel and I've made the choice I've made the choice to stay positive for myself because I feel good when I'm positive I'm allowed to be myself when I'm positive I have no excuses for being myself 
and for being positive. And my positivity is not responsive or dependent on something outside of myself. All I need is me. And I wanna teach you how to only need you to really feel positive in your life. So I hope you are able to join the free webinar. I'll have the information below. And you can also visit my website at miracleswithinus.net. And I have it under the events tab there. And I'm looking forward to speaking to you all very soon. And until next week, I love you unconditionally. Namaste, everyone.